ladies and gentlemen welcome to today's black ops cold war video guys today i'm going to be sharing with you the best league play classes i did one before but this is updated now because we have new restrictions you know over the past few weeks and i've been playing with these classes now so i can tell you with the utmost certainty that these are the best classes that you're going to be want to be running i that's it did i say that right best classes you're going to want to be running in league play let's hop right into it right now so you guys are going to see that here i'm a rank five which you know rank five isn't that high but you know i've been it shows i've been playing every single season there's only one season the last season is the only season i didn't play i just played one like game of it and i actually was the it's the only time i went finally to elite i was i've been expert 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 went to elite once and now i'm expert again that's okay and uh so yeah so that's how you guys can tell my classes are full per of here basically but we have we have a variation of class we have all the guns you're gonna need here so we have the 74u all the variations of that and as you can see like these are all basically the same classes but you know since we have all 10 slots i figure might as well have one that's different for smoke and stun when we have the emergency use only class we'll be sharing that one we have the m4 setup we have the m4 with gunfighter setup and we don't have a Krieg 6 setup, but we can do that one in place of this M4 setup. And then we have a sniper only for if they ever actually ban overkill like they're supposed to. But I'm not sure if they're actually going to do that or not. So we're going to start off with the 74U, my favorite gun, my go-to, my personal love in the game right now. You're not going to need an optic sight for this. You're going to rock the muzzle break 545. I personally just, you know, I don't see a need for the compensator. I feel like this one is a good enough recoil reduction and there's no downside to it. The Liberator Barrel for the 100% bullet velocity. That is a huge, absolute must. You definitely, definitely want the Liberator Barrel. Nothing needed on the body. We're going to do Under Barrel. We're going to do the Special Speed Grip because when you're running SMG, you want to be flying at the enemies. You want to be in their face. You want to show them who the boss is around here. No need for Magazine. Crew Elastic Grip. Once again, you want to have the fastest aimed on sight. And also, this allows you to drop shot if you ever get in that situation. You know, in this game, drop shotting is very rare. And so if you're in League Play and you can drop shot every once in a while, it's nice and then so the only downside to guru elastic is it drops your sprint to fire time which is why we're gonna rock the skeletal it's gonna you know re or re increase our sprint to fire time and it only drops your hit fire accuracy which doesn't matter because how often are you actually gonna be hit firing like basically never for the most part so that is my 70 for you across all the classes when i run the 70 for you then we have the diamati which this uh you know i kind of suck with the diamati but this is the setup i'm running with it i mean this is the setup that works i just personally suck with it so it's basically all the same attachments you have the muzzle break nine once again there's no really need for the compensator maybe you know maybe i should switch the compensator but for the most part once again that's just because i suck muzzle break nine will do you good you'll want the curl line barrel once again 100 percent bullet velocity absolute must need we have the steady aim laser just because it's not banned even though it is ga'd for league play it's not banned so you might as well rock it magazine i personally run the fast mag because once again there's no cons to it so why not run it and then we have the airborne elastic so just once again you can have that real quick like this aim down sight speed because when you're switching to the pistol it's normally because you just shot a whole clip of your primary into a guy and you don't have enough time to reload so you just need to switch to your secondary instantly and take them out you're gonna want to keep that diamante because we're just gonna be copy pasting that across all the classes just so you know now this next part is gonna vary between your classes but for the most part you're gonna have this basically the same as that concept here for your tactical grenade i like i said so i have smoke and stun that's literally the only two difference between the only difference between these two classes so i only run smoke grenade when people are getting crazy and people are using stuff that like breaks gas not that people you know normally uh a pre or you know respect the gas but whenever people get a little crazy i throw you know i'll switch to the smoke class but normally you want to run stuns uh simtex and trophy system definitely simtex and trophy system those are absolute must the stun and the smoke are just very no, don't run the flash grenade you don't need the flash grenade at all and then we're gonna be running perk greed because for your smg there's no reason to run gunfighter at all and then we're also not gonna be running lawbreaker because we're not running overkill so you might as well run perk greed at that point and it's very obvious for perk greed if you're gonna want a flag jacket attack mask class uh for perk two i run gearhead and quartermaster just because scavenger is absolutely not needed majority of the time you're gonna either be dying as soon as you get a kill or everyone's running the same gun so they're gonna have your guns you're not gonna need to like need ammo and assassin doesn't do anything as a matter of fact assassin's actually bad for league play because if you see someone who's on a streak and they have that assassin red dot on the mini map they it doesn't tell you if they're upstairs or downstairs just like the normal mini map does so definitely gearhead and quartermaster and then perk three is another very obvious one ninja and cold-blooded you're only running cold-blooded just because you have perk grade you definitely don't need it 
but in the off chance that you're the enemy like causing a cruise missile or an attack helicopter at least now they won't be able to see you which is really nice now if you want to be that support player on your team you want to be the guy who is just trying to help the team at all costs you know you understand that league play is about the win for the team it's not about stats it's not about kd it's about how the team wins this is the class for you i call it my engineer class and it's that same as that class we said before but in this case you take off tech mask and put on engineer and the reason why this class is so important it's nice to have usually at least one person on your team running this class and that's usually me is because every most people are going to be running gearhead and or quartermaster for their trophy systems so if you think about it all four enemy players have the trophy system and then all four of them probably have two so that's eight trophy systems on the enemy team if you're running engineer you can see the trophy systems through the walls you can ping them if you can't get them to yourself but otherwise you just take them out yourself and you just let all your teammates just have a heyday at throwing aids and you guys know that flag jacket and tag mask are very very useful in this game they work very well so the more nades you can get the better because if you just have one nade that comes through every once in a while it's not going to do anything but if you can have your whole team having a free range of nades then you're going to have a much much easier time on the map for emergency use only i'm not even going to show you this class because i already showed you the ak-74u i'm going to show you the sniper later in the video this class guys is for emergencies only do not use this class this class is only available for if the enemy team is using overkill which is supposed to be banned and they're talking crap okay if the enemy team is using a op weapon and talking crap then you bust this out otherwise you do not bust this out okay have respect for yourself have respect for your teammates okay have respect for the game don't use this class this is an emergency only class emergency only now next up we have the m4 so you're gonna notice the m4 has the same exact things as my ak 74 u where i have a smoke class a stun class and the engineer class so we're just gonna go ahead to show you one of the classes and then you guys get the concept where you just copy paste we're just gonna show you the m4 at this point everything else is the same the amount is the same everything now this is personally my m4 so this m4 play style there's multiple ways to do the m4 this one is more of a medium to slightly slower ish play style and then i can tell you a couple of changes you can do to this class to this m4 to make it a little bit faster pace for you but so i have the optic i love the micro flex led i think that is by far the best optic other people like the mill stop which is not a bad decision but definitely pick one of those two for muzzle once again we're going to just the muzzle break 556 there's really no need for the infantry compensator this will do the trick for you here's the thing these guns are going to have a little bit like barely any recoil but the, pro the thing is like not the problem the thing is if you play with these guns over and over and over again you're gonna master them like there's so there's countless times every time i upload a youtube short everyone in the comment section says i'm aimbotting because it looks like i don't have any recoil but it's just because when you use the same guns in league play which you should be doing you should be using the meta guns in league play you just learn to master it so there's no need to add a a con to your to your attachment here then we're gonna do barrel and once again believe it or not we're doing the 100 percent bullet velocity again we're doing the ranger now you can run the takedown barrel that does 150 percent damage range but i would only suggest running this takedown barrel if you're playing super slow so i said this is a medium to slow pace takedown barrels if you're running a super slow back of the map xm4 but at that point you might as well run in the crank six we're gonna skip over the body but if you run gunfighter you can put the body on here because you know if you run gunfighter you can have all the attachments but if you're not running gunfighter which i do not and i don't think you need to then you know obviously you'd run a uh, steady aim laser there for the underbarrel we're gonna be running the field agent grip this one is super e easy you have plus vertical recoil control you have plus horizontal re recoil control the only thing you don't have is shoot moving speed shooting move speed but you don't have to worry about that you know because you're just gonna be lasering people down anyway it doesn't matter how fast you're moving this is the easy i mean foregrip is the other one that just doesn't have any cons but field engine grip is what you're going to want to go with definitely now here is where we decide if we want to play medium slow pace which is what this setup is or if you want to play a medium fast pace so if you're going to do medium slow pace i recommend you do the 40 round magazine because the only thing you lose on the 40 round magazine is reload quickness which doesn't matter because you have an extra 10 rounds in your magazine but if you want to play a medium fast like m4 like you're you know you just want to play you just want to be a little bit more in their face you can drop this magazine and actually add the airborne elastic grip which at you know gives you that plus aim down sight speed which but you don't need this if you're playing slow because you're sitting in the back of the map normally you know medium range now if you want to play a really fast m4 for whatever reason i mean you might want to do it 
you can get rid of the optic and the magazine you would run the airborne elastic and then you would also go to your stock and run the raider pad and at that point you're basically just running an smg on your xm4 now we're gonna be rocking over to the Krig 6. I did just switch to the 8M4 class. I, I don't ever even use this class ever anyway, but I just wanna show you guys a Krig 6. Now this is for if you're definitely the anchor of the team, you are playing the slow AR role. You're just sitting in the back of the map. You're holding spawns and hard point. You're rotating early and you're just beaming people from far away. This is the class for you. The Krig 6 is equivalent to the Black Ops 4 ICR. I mean, it it will not do too hot up close against an AK-74. The XM4 stands a chance against the 74U. You know not usually but it can the Krig 6 is definitely the back of the map gun so this once again i rock the microflex led but if you want you can rock the mill stop reflex totally up to you here we are going to run the infantry compensator just because we want this gun to shoot as straight as an arrow and adding that 12 percent vertical recoil control is really nice the horizontal we can uh you know we can work with that then barrel this is where I choose, once again, I choose the Ranger because so the takedown barrel does give you 150% effective damage range, but there is just like, there's very, very few, very few instances where you actually need to be shooting that far away and have that much like of a, you know, damage extension where Ranger grip does get your bullet there quicker. And you know, with the Krig 6, you're gonna be shooting laser beams anyway. So you're gonna be hitting all your bullets anyway. The ranger is really i think is a very, like the good choice here but if you if you really insist on running the takedown barrel you absolutely can i suggest the ranger barrel though we're gonna do the stadium laser just because i mean we're running gunfights you don't need it at all and as a matter of fact you probably never even use this attachment and then same thing again field agent grip tape we're gonna run the 40 round mag so there's no downside to it we're gonna be running the airborne elastic just in case you do get up close and personal with anyone and then of course also the raider stock because that you know counteracts the cons to the airborne elastic and that is your crick six and then here you're gonna want flag jacket over tack mask for sure because when you're playing this crick six you are sitting in the back of the map you do not want to get nated off of your your power position and then for perk two you can run gearhead or quartermaster whichever one you want Gearhead will probably be better because you can get your trophy systems quicker instead of you know quartermaster which or no wait which one no hold on i'm sorry you want quartermaster Quartermaster will help you get your equipment uh, quicker, your trophy system quicker, because you don't have tech mask on. So you definitely want to have Quartermaster to get your trophy system back quicker. And then obviously Ninja, you don't really need cold-blooded. And maybe one day League Play will actually work to where when you die, you'll lose your score streak. Who knows if that'll ever actually happen. But, and then same thing, stuns, Simtex, trophy system, and that is your Krig 6. The MP5 class and the Sniper class are our final two. We're going to speed through this MP5 class. It is literally the exact same as the AK-74 for you. And I, in all honesty, wouldn't even recommend using the MP5. It is a very niche pick because this MP5 is super duper good up close, but medium and long range, it is a terrible gun. But this is a gun that you can use on like the tight areas in Garrison and also on Crossroads. But it's literally the same setup as the 74U. You. You're going to run the top muzzle break 9. You're going to run the Ranger grip. You're going to run the speed grip. You're going to run the airborne elastic. And you're going to run the Raider stock. We're just going to speed right on through that one. This is just if you're ever feeling like super fast, like dangerous speed. And once again, it's a really, it's a pretty good gun for Garrison. I mean, when you're on the vent side, light side, it is a lot of up close and personal action going on. There's not a lot of medium range happening. So it's a good pick for there. So that's where we're going to speed through that. And finally, we have the sniper. Now the sniper a lot of the good sniper attachments are banned in league play so what i use and i have found to be the most successful is since we can't use tiger barrel we're going to be using the hammer forge gives that 30 percent fire rate just so you can shoot a little bit quicker we're going to be running the steady aim laser just because there's nothing else i truly don't i think the default optic is fine and for muzzle i mean i really don't see a need for i would most people would probably say the stabilizer i really don't see a need for idle sway control i mean whenever you see someone you just hold your breath and when someone is not in your sight, just don't hold your breath yet, in my opinion. But if you really want to have that muzzle break, um, if you really want to have that stabilizer, you can use stabilizer in place of the steady aim laser. I just keep the steady aim laser in case you have that panic shot someone in your face. Uh, for under barrel, I don't think you need anything. But once again, if you want to run a fast sniper, which I don't think you should in league play, you can get rid of the steady aim laser and run the speed grip here. Uh, magazine will be running the seven round mag just because there's no cons to it besides the reload quickness handle is the go-to airborne elastic and stock is of course the raider pad which is very obvious now for our, our score streaks we just run the very basic napalm strike artillery and cruise missile now as you guys know in regular competitive they only run artillery and cruise missile 
but in league play everyone's running napalm so i just use it too just because i mean if everyone's using it i feel like i have to i mean you could use attack helicopter but there's literally no i feel like there's no point in running attack helicopter because everyone's running cold-blooded and hopefully soon enough like i said league play will just be fixed to where when you die you'll lose your score streak bonus but who knows if that'll ever actually happen and then the final the most important part is you want to put on your optic operator this will give you plus 10 percent skill you definitely want to put on your operator your optic operator on both sides so you have plus 10 percent skill guys seriously and there you guys have it that is all of my league play classes these are the classes that i love i stand by them i do not think these are going to change at all throughout this year these are the go-to classes i i feel like the 74u is just going to be like the mp5 last year no matter how much they try to nerf it which they haven't even been nerfing it thankfully uh i feel like you know it's going to be the go-to gun and those can be the go-to attachments no matter what happens and like i said just practice with these guns get used to the little bit of recoil they might have and they'll be shooting like a laser in no time if you just watch some of my gameplay i am far from the best player i mean you, as you can see i'm only ranking expert but i feel like i'm a good utility support player for my team and you know i got the lasers when i need them so thank you guys for watching today's video thank you guys for 750 subscribers here on the youtube channel i seriously appreciate that and i am having so much more fun on call of duty now that we have league play even though it's not a perfect dealer system i don't care i'm just happy to be playing competitive thank you guys for hanging out don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're not already on your way out and i'll see you guys later goodbye